good evening everybody good evening my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel if you like my videos please smash that like button please do subscribe there's really not much to report this evening i've just been at home i took max out for a walk this morning i didn't go to the co-op um my phone i can't use it at the moment not only haven't I topped it up yet, it seems to not tell me when the phone is ringing. So I don't know whether the sound's gone on it. But it's not even... It wasn't ringing uh, earlier on. I missed two phone calls from my mum. Um, so, if we go from this afternoon. I took Max out for a walk. Um, not feeling in the best of spirits my mental health has taken a bashing it always does when I go around to see my mum um, it's exhausting um, some of what she says uh, fucks your head up she probably doesn't mean to do it but it fucks with my head I felt shit scared yesterday I struggled through the evening I got up this, this morning feeling absolutely washed out. Um, my head was a mess. Um, and I just felt battered, emotionally battered. And um, it's going to take me a while to get back up to the strength that I was. Because I feel so weak. Not in my body, in my just weak. Do you know what I mean? I feel weak. I feel like I've taken a battering. Um, because when you have a, a migraine, it does make you feel exhausted afterwards. It does. Coupled with the fact that my my mum is just really hard work just to sit there for an hour. Someone said to me, just sit there for an hour. I, <laughs> It's why she's covering herself head to foot in a strong sense. I mean, it's one of her workers uh, said it to her. Uh, I think someone said it to her. They went in and said, I'm sorry, I can't stay here very long. Your, your perfume's very strong. Um, makes you feel nausea, sick, headache. Uh, you want to help, you want to stay, but you can't. It's like she's repelling you. You know, she's got like some kind of insect repellent on, you know, you can't go, it, oh, it was awful. Um, I had to open all the windows when I came home yesterday and get, just breathe some air. Um, why is she doing that? I don't know. So I went out this afternoon, right, usual time, two o'clock-ish. I've been getting messages on WhatsApp. And basically, I think it's a scam. I think it's a con. I'm not taking it seriously. When I asked for this person's photograph, they they wouldn't give me one right, right away. Now, that's a red flag because when you ask someone for a photo, they can just do a selfie like that. It should take seconds, a minute at the most. This guy, or whoever they were, came back with a video of this man like doing a song like on a recording thing and it was dated january the first so that's not up to date for a start is it we're in um we're in june so that's another red flag people sending you things they've got dates on but they're the wrong dates they're not up to date so I'm not taking this person very seriously and I'm not giving them a load of information. Um, and again, can I have a video call with you? They're, they're just in, I don't know what that's for. And when you do a video, guys, make sure you haven't got bags uh, with your cards hanging out or any kind of details because they're casing the joint. Um, so be very careful. Um, I've been conned more than once and I'm not being conned again. So now we're going on to the post. I just got this. This is 
this this afternoon which was in my mailbox the post lady had put it in my mailbox recycle today for a better tomorrow zero packaging um, mental health UK um, mental health awareness and this has come from Scimitar Sports UK Seven House Hilton Road Worcester um, so that's my mental health t-shirts one other letter now I went to Boots Opticians in Strood to get my eyes tested now we have about the third or fourth letter from Boots Hearing Care in Trinity Square Landudno United Kingdom which is Wales Wales Uh, Alexa, what's the longest Welsh word? The longest word in the Welsh language is chan by a Pershwingis gogia huron dropish santazilia gogogog. This is the name of a village on the island of Anglesey in Wales. The lengthy word translates as St Mary's Church in the hollow of the white hazel near a rapid whirlpool and the church of St Tazilio of the Red Cave. Another interesting fact for you all. So this is Boots Hearing Care, Support Office 21 Trinity Square, Landudno. Your appointment at Boots Hearing Care has changed. I don't know what this place is mucking about at, but they've changed my appointment about four or five times. I'm struggling to keep up with it. We're really sorry, we've had to rearrange your Boots Hearing Care appointment that was booked on the 4th of July 24 at our store in Chatham, Wilmot Square. Rest assured, we have done everything we can to avoid the need to rearrange and hope by now you have already received the SMS and email we've sent confirming your new appointment. If not, you can find the details below. So now it's the 18th of July at 24. 24 so the 18th of July that's getting near the school break isn't it for summer I don't like going to have appointments in the school holidays because you're going to get kids running around everywhere so 18th of July and that's been changed about three or four times and I'm struggling to keep up with it you know what I mean um so yeah, I went out this afternoon, I was getting messages and I walked onto the field. There was two girls with extremely long hair sat on a bench, a lot longer than mine. I was feeling mentally right, really rock bottom and I just wanted to walk my dog around the field. That's all. I couldn't care less how long someone's hair is. What it looks like, I was feeling like shit. And you know what it's like when you feel like shit. I just wasn't in a good mood to be fair. So I walked around, I walked around the field that let Max off the lead. And apart from these two girls sat on a bench, a blonde woman coming off the field with a large sandy dog. With, and she had glasses on. Um, really there wasn't many people. Until I was coming off the field and then I saw G4S security because people think that I have a low self-opinion of myself, which I don't. I don't have a low self-opinion of myself now. I think I'm a very brave, strong person. I think I've gone through a lot and it shows in my face like it does in most people's faces that have gone through a lot of stuff, right? So I don't give a shit what other people look like. I don't care. If someone's polite to me, I'll be polite back. If someone's horrible to me, I'll avoid them like the plague. So I don't care what somebody looks like. You can waggle your hair about. You can wear the most magnificent clothes. I don't give a shit. Manners maketh a man, right? It's not the bloody hair. So you've got these girls. <laughs> yeah, nice hair. So it 
didn't make me cross. I was feeling sick. I was feeling like I wanted to go to the loo. I was bit desperate for the toilet. And this G4S the security parks out Costa Coffee. And I didn't go inside Costa Coffee on Sunday. We went to Chatham. I haven't been in Costa Coffee for months because I don't particularly like their coffee. It's got far too much sugar in it. And, you know, I, I don't like it. We had a coffee, coffee in McDonald's and it wasn't full of like cream and shitty sugar. Um, so I just calmly walked past the G4S van. Um, there's people sat on benches. I kept quiet. I, I just was feeling like shit. And I just walked home and I thought, you know, this is just stupid the same old thing i go up to see my mum you know and i was ill i was actually ill around my mum so she just sat there like oh feeling terrible i didn't really speak to be fair i just let my mum do all the talking there was no arguments and i was glad to get home because she absolutely reeked of perfume it was making me feel sick and I'm just getting over all my sinuses they're blocked and they're sore and the back of my throat and my mouth I've got a sore throat and I just wanted to get out of there but there was not one crossword spoken so every time I come back from my mum's it's like we've had an argument and you've got the security vans you've got the police you've got the community police, the community support police, you've got the railway transport police all ready to pounce on top of me and I'm a flipping woman myself and I'm thinking well you're just not going to get anything because I'm, I just, just, I want to retire by the seaside, I want to go and live somewhere quiet and let someone take over this shit that I'm going through because I've had enough of it my mum's almost 80. I'm older now myself and I'm just sick and tired of the same old repetitive bollocks. It's, I'm a woman. Every morning, hello pretty lady. Well you've got the lady part right for a start. What is going on? <laughs> Do you think I care whether you called me Hello Big Banana? I don't give a shit. I don't care. Haven't you got anything else better to do? And this is coming from America. Hello, pretty lady. So, I mean, I took my parcel onto the field. I took my package out to the field because I'm glad I did. Because when I came up, there was someone coming out the entrance and I just thought, no, I just want to be left alone. I feel fucking awful. I don't need to catch my cold. And I went round the back and I went up the stairs. And I was glad to get indoors and I thought, what am I going to do to cheer myself up? I feel fucking crap. And I thought, right, you've got to pull yourself together because no one else is going to help you. So I fucking, I thought, right, we're going to watch a Netflix film. We're going to fucking block the noise out with the fucking BBC News. And poor old Nigel Farage has got attacked again. Cement was thrown at Nigel Farage. And how does he just get up and walk on after that? After having cement thrown at him. Now they're all worried for Nigel Farage's safety. Um. So I've just, up until now, I've been watching Netflix. I've, this Royal uh, Kingdom game, the one where you match the um, blocks. And it's quite fun, that. Royal Kingdom. So I've been occupying myself playing the Royal Kingdom 
of Google Play because this idiot, right, that they've, you know, you're not going to get anywhere with me playing about on WhatsApp. If you can't put the effort in to come and meet me or explain properly why you can't meet me, then I can't be bothered to talk to you over WhatsApp. It's as simple as that. If you care about somebody, it doesn't matter if it is a long distance relationship. You have to show them that you care. You can't just pick somebody up and put them fucking down when you feel like it and use them for a quick fucking you know what and then bye bye, I've got to go and have a shower afterwards. That's not a nice thing to do. You ain't gonna keep a woman in another country that way if that's how you fucking treat her. You ain't. You know, send them something, show them you care. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money, but you know, you're not showing much effort because WhatsApp's bloody free. You really just, I've done downloaded that. I haven't had to pay for WhatsApp when I've downloaded, don't, downloaded it. If you want a girlfriend, long distance, right and you're not showing any effort at all then you're gonna fucking not get anybody so again isn't it what's that what's that i'm not married oh no i've just randomly come across your number really you expect me to believe that you randomly came across my number and you want to talk to me and then every fucking morning hello pretty lady am i fucking parrot a pretty birdie <laughs> sorry i mean it's, it's monotonous it's boring there's no effort put into anything If someone comes out, it's like you're meeting someone and, oh, oh, I've got to... They're not making an effort in the relationship at all whatsoever. You come in, you do everything, they're sat there, they make no effort. You get fed up. And why are you lying to me and not telling me who you really are? Who are you? So, guys, another day in this person's imaginary world that they live in where i'm with them in the air with the fairies see you later